Welcome to this week's vlog where we are just docking in the fascinating city of Istanbul which marks the boundary between Europe and Asia. Now I'd assumed that Istanbul was Turkey's capital but in fact Ankara replaced Istanbul as the capital in 1923 after the War of Independence. Now the Infinity is docked here for two days so today we're exploring the mosques and then tomorrow we'll be visiting the markets. Now we made one huge and very expensive mistake and we don't want you to so make sure you watch the full vlog. We also share some things to do and other mistakes to avoid if you don't want to end up being scammed. So let's get started on the first morning as we are arriving into Istanbul. Hi, we're James and Rob and this is our dog Oscar. We love travel in all its forms so join us on our next adventure as we head out on the road again. Good morning from a beautifully sunny Istanbul. We arrived here about 7am and it's about 8.30 now and we're getting ready for our day ahead. What are we going to do today, James? We're going to go to the old town, uh, go to Hagia Sophia, maybe the Blue Mosque, just wander around, get a feel for the place. We've got hop on hop off bus tickets, so let's see how that works. Um, hopefully that will give us good value to go see quite a few different places in the city and yeah just kind of mooch around really yeah so we decided to get a hop on top of bus about 50 pounds each for, for two, two days, days um, because there's quite a lot of mm. warnings about taking bogus taxis and then charging you extortionate fees so we decided that was a safer option and it also takes us to all the places that we want to go but one of the great reasons for having a balcony cabin is to look at the view from the balconies and you can see how fantastic that view is including James. Look at all the little ferries on the bus. Yeah. So these are the mosques. Do you want to just point out what's, can you tell what's what there? I can't see. Okay, so there, that's Hagia Sophia. That's Topkapi Palace. They're the main ones. And behind, right behind is the Blue Mosque on that side. Yeah. So if you are coming into Istanbul, try and get a cabin on the port side because then you're coming down the Bosphorus this way turn around and then you park so or both so yeah if you get on the port side get up early just to watch the sailing it is stunning because you go past both the mosques and everything yeah and so lots of ferries going from Back to one side to the other so is that which is which is that the European side that's no, the Asian no. we're docked on the Asian side that's the European side um, yeah. So there's the Pagamba Bridge that is. So we're going to get off now, go and have some breakfast and then try and find where the hop on hop off bus is. A little while later. So we're on our hop on hop off bus, which is a bit disorganized, but eventually left. And we're having to go in the wrong direction in order to cross over to go to the palace. Can you just put the map out? Yeah, so we're coming down to the bridge to go there and we have to go all the way back. This is where we want to go, down there. Yeah. If you're going to do it, just get the tram from Galata Port, 15 minutes into there. Saves you hemp faffing all the way through, unless you want to do the whole tour. We booked the um, two-day pass. We thought we were buying it through the company, but it was a third party. Some more good views, though. So we're just crossing the bridge now, going from the European side to the Asian side. We're finally off the bus and here's one of the temples. We're going to Grand, Grand what's it called, James? Hagia Sophia. Yeah, then we're going to go there. And then this is the Grand Bazaar and the spice markets over there. I'm not entirely sure I'd recommend doing the hop on, hop off bus because it's taken us about an hour or so to get here going the opposite direction um, so anyway it's nice to be out walking and it's it's quite warm so anyway we're going to have a wander see what we can find so that's one of the temples Okay, it turns out, uh, I lied to you, this is actually called the Yeni Kami Mosque and we need to walk further up the road to actually get to the mosque that we're planning on going to. But I've got to say, it's nicer being off the bus and walking than it is on a hot, sweaty bus. 
and the temperature is hot but in the shade it's quite pleasant place. So we actually got off the bus a bit early so we're 20 minutes away. So anyway, like I said, I'd rather be walking, soaking up the smells and sounds of Istanbul. This is kind of what I imagined it to be like. This is what we should have called this morning. And we're near the mosque where they're just calling, calling to prayer so we won't be able to go in until the prayers are over. Let's see what the queues are like. This is, uh, towards the blue mosque we gave up on the other mosque because of the queue to get in and buy tickets and we got stopped by a ticket guy guy saying oh it's 50 euros each to get in but I'll give you a free tour so we went online and it's actually 25 euros each to get in so be careful about what people tell you certainly just being around the setting is really lovely the park and then the the mosque here and it's getting very hot now so it's nice to be walking in the shade and what do you think about the hop on hop off bus no don't do it yeah uh, i don't think it's worth it uh, the red route only goes one way and the blue route comes the other way it's every hour it's not as if you can go backwards and forwards on one of the routes so if you want to get one say you were getting off of the port and you wanted to go to the blue mosque you have to go right the way around which is an hour and a half later so just get off, get on the tram. The tram takes 10 minutes and it's uh, 20 Turkish lira. Gets you here. Which is 50p. Yeah, 50p. And yeah, they don't, they're not affected by traffic. They've got their own lanes. Just do that. Yeah. And we learn the hard way. And probably if you're going to come to the mosque, get here early because I think it's going to yeah. be, that's going to be equally bad. Lines, but we, it's about two o'clock now. So there we go. But anyway, like I say, the park is lovely here. So if you just want to come and see the mosque from the outside and enjoy the park. Also be careful, we had um, a coffee at a cafe that I guess we've sort of said would be the equivalent of sitting in Covent Garden and we had two coffees and a, and a Coke uh, and James had some baklava and it was about 17, let's get in the shade, it was about 17 pounds. So that's quite expensive, but of course you're paying for the location. Business fire of the blue mosque. So you're supposed to not be able to wear shorts in here. So James and I bought our beach towels to wear, which we've done before, but I see lots of people with shorts, so who knows. Finally, inside the Blue Mosque. So we managed to get into the Blue Mosque. If you are coming, you need to make sure you're covering your needs. So James and I both bought our beach towels with us. So we're looking very fetching in our dresses. Otherwise they will give you a sack basically to wear. And obviously women need to cover their hair as well, but we didn't have to queue very long. You need to take your shoes off and carry them. And yeah, I mean, if the queue's not very long, it's worth coming here. But if it's a long queue, I'm not sure. I personally think it's worth coming in, but it's free to get in here. 25 euros to get into the Sophia uh, Mosque. Um, but there was a massively long queue, so we chose not to do that. So we're now just waiting for Ian to finish wandering around. Uh, but it is rather crowded. So if you're going with a group of people, arrange a meeting point because you can get lost very easily as, as we've lost Ian so far.
Good morning from a very hot and hazy Istanbul. It's day two of our time in Istanbul and today we are going to the spice market to do some shopping. It is extremely warm today so we've got our sunscreen, our caps to keep us cool and today we're going to take the tram and be like a local which is only a 10 minute ride and we are going to um, do some shopping. Anyway, we're going to meet our friends and we'll tell you what it's like to take a tram. We've just uh, taken the tram like a local to get here today, which is a much quicker way than taking a hop on, hop off bus. You need to buy a ticket from the ticket machine, which gives you 10 tickets, but you can use that between up to five people. Just be really careful because there's some locals standing there helping people, but what they're actually trying to do is get you to say your payment hasn't gone through so you end up buying two cards and then they keep one of them and then they sell them and make a bit of money so be careful about that but it's only two stops from the uh, cruise port to get to the spice market and it takes about three minutes and the, the trams are really frequent so that was all good and here we are in the underground area Oh my god, ready to buy all these branded, in quotes, products. So we'll... Just walking out into the market area now. So yeah, I'd highly recommend taking the tram. It's 50p a journey. Uh, and it's very quick and efficient. And as I said, just be careful of the people at the ticket machines, which is at the tram stop. Be careful with them trying to con you because he basically told James that you needed to pay but luckily with James's bank it pings up immediately saying he's paid so he was able to say no I've already paid whereas a lot of people's banks wouldn't do that and therefore they pay again and like I say you end up buying them a ticket as well as yourself one so uh, and then they had loads of tickets on the top of the machine that they were selling to people and obviously just taking the cash for them and making money for themselves. So just a few minutes walk from the tram stop brings you to the entrance to the Spice Bazaar, which is where we're going to start our journey. And there's lots of these beautiful Turkish delight shops and uh, other things. So here we are inside the Spice Market. How beautiful is that? And it is, it is actually nice and cool here. But as I say, there's lots of these places selling keys, hello, and uh, call the lovely teas, and uh, Turkish delight and all the rest of it, baklava. But there's also lots of flies. So just be mindful of that. But it is very beautiful. Soaps. In a lovely setting as well. Nice and chilled as well. Yeah, it's actually quite quiet in here at the moment because we're fairly early. It's not as popular as the Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar is quite touristy and quite pushy, but this is real chill apparently. So. We'll see. Yeah. Turkish Delight. Yeah, buy it in a box apparently. It only looks very authentic. Nuts, spices. This is very long. You can go, we just turned left, you can go down there. And then that leads into the Grand Bazaar. <coughs> but it's um, actually quite nice now because it's quite chilled. But they're all selling the same stuff. And we're now coming into the Grand Bazaar. 
bütün kadınların, kızların kendisiyle birlikte olmasını We're all bee pig and they're not even... This is a, this is a grand bazaar. It is a bit overwhelming here. There's so many shops and so many salespeople trying to get you into their shops and then making up the prices. So make sure you get the price before you show some interest in something, otherwise you will end up being taken for a bit of a ride, especially if they think you've got some money. The shoes range from about 500 Turkish day, which is about 10 pounds, I think, just over 10 pounds to much more than that. So just be, just be mindful of that. And here we are in walking into the... When you put him on a lead, oh, there he is, come on. Wow. <laughs> said put you on, we said stick together, so let's put you in on a lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little rain. Yeah. Pretty sea leg, though. Yeah, yeah this is a, a warren of uh, different shops. So I think in the Grand Bazaar they are selling all sorts of things. And clearly there's no smoking ban here because it's everyone's smoking. Okay, all the way down there. We're down in the rendezvous lounge. And um, we are enjoying the solo guitarist. Like on the Apex, we thought the entertainment there was good with the solo guitarist, and this guy is pretty good as well. A lot better than the kind of slightly contrived singers or duets. And um, as ever, it's just really chilled down here. There's not a lot of people here. Starters have just arrived, and James and I have both got the beef capacho. Ian's got the. Uh, <coughs> French onion supermarket's got the shrimp cocktail. I've been um, a greedy piggy tonight and I'm having two starters, so I'm also having the broccoli soup as well. The um, beef gazpacho was absolutely lovely, wasn't it, James? That was very nice. That was delicious. James also got a second starter and he has got the pear and blue cheese walnut salad, which looks very nice as well. Yeah, it looks nice. So, James has got the beef, uh, pork tenderloin with extra veg. Mark's got the sirloin. sirloin steak. And Ian's got the vegetable korma. And I have got the beef short ribs, which looks nice. So we've come to the end of our two fantastic days in Istanbul. What advice have you got? What did you think, James? I'd say the main piece of advice, use the trams. Um, so much easier to use. Uh, just be careful of the people that are buying the tickets being helpful. Um, cost 50p to get from Galata Port. Galata Port's amazing. I've never seen a cruise terminal like it. Yeah, it was almost like an airport. Wasn't yeah, it? it was just, yeah, gleaming marble, beautiful corridors. Yeah, the port itself is amazing. Loads of shops, restaurants in the port as well. And yeah, ten minutes to get into um, the central. Yeah, don't 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 do what we did and get on the hop on hop off bus. It was actually one of the entertainment crew that said, "Oh, I used to live in Istanbul, and that's the best way of seeing it." Well, and originally James had suggested we get the tram, so we ended up spending ten times more to take a hop on hop off bus that we didn't even use on the second day. But two days there, make sure you visit the mosques. And unlike ours, get there early because the queues are going to be way, way shorter. And mm. also it's not going to be as hot because you can see it was really, really hot when we're there. And of course, if you're going to go in the mosque, then men, you need to make sure men and women cover your legs over your knees <clears throat> and women need to wear headscarves. Yeah, if possible, take some your own wrap around. We had these beach towels, which are the uh, fine cotton ones, and we just wrapped them around. Otherwise, they give you this sack, and you don't know how many people have worn that <laughs> sack. And it's not attractive looking either. And what do you think about the city overall? It's chaotic. It's very exotic. It's dripping in history. A lot of people are scared of Istanbul, but I'd say just embrace the craziness of the place 
you just need to be firm um, when people are trying to get you into the shops and they are quite pushy. But then you just have a banter with them and just say, oh, that person gave me that price. And you just end up having this joke with them. Um, and yeah, they're yeah. just trying to make a living. Exactly. And don't be too British and like, oh, I couldn't possibly barter. Well, absolutely you can, because if you don't, you're going to be paying way over the odds for the things that you want to get. But, you know, overall, it was a fantastic cultural experience. I'm glad that we kind of had two days there to sort of immerse ourselves in it. And in a way, I wish we'd gone out on that first night and actually eaten in Istanbul and mm. had a proper Turkish meal. But we we're all rather hot and bothered by the time we mm. spent two hours on a bus and, and <laughs> walked around the mosques but other than that see you next time when we are at sea again we've got a sea day and we are going to do a complete ship tour from top to bottom we're also going to eat at the tuscan grill which is one of the specialty restaurants and did we think it was worth $60 up charge each? Well, the only way you're going to find out is by hitting the subscribe button and joining us next week as we head out on the sea again.